welcome to this special broadcast. Today, our focus is what's happening within the cement industry with the impact of COVID-19. Mr. H. M. Bangur, the MD at Shri Cement, is joining us right now in this discussion. Mr. Bangur, thanks very much for taking out the time and being with us. You know, we just about started seeing some amount of stability where, uh, you know, cement manufacturers started to get some amount of price leverage. They started to see volumes picking up. And then, uh, you know, the, the coronavirus hits. You know, how has that disrupted business for you? Let's start off with that. Whatever words uh, we use, it, is, it will never be sufficient. Business has been disrupted. Uh, totally disrupted because of this uh, natural phenomena. And uh, the point is nothing else could have been done what the government of India has done. Uh, we may talk about economics and all other things, but uh, really had we a choice, I always maintain that all businesses, all economic activities are done to improve our lifestyle. But if life is unsafe, then all priority has to change. So this disruption is there. Now we have to discuss about how we can come out of it, how the things will restart. Mm. So what is it, Mr. Bangur, that you feel happens once we cross May 3rd? Obviously, March is a month is, has been completely tarnished. Uh, you know, this is this is actually the peak construction period, and uh, you know, with construction coming to a grinding halt, that would definitely impact a chunk of your volumes. So, uh, you know, Motilal Oswal has said that at least 40% of volumes are lost in March. Is that a fair assessment? And and what do you think happens uh, to uh, business and the the manufacturing activity once we cross May third? 40% may be too high an estimate for March because till 15th March, more or less things were running. And after 20th, suddenly the things stopped. So I feel uh, 25 to 30% volume might be affected. But April will be really bad as till now don't have any clarity. Uh, PM has said to wait up to 20th and then gradually start up. Only thing is that even after startup, we don't have the market, and there will be fear in the minds of uh, construction labor. We can provide good and satisfactory working condition to our plant people. But at the construction side, people will be fearful for some time. So something has to start someday. So the door has been opened slowly. People will come and join, and economic activity will will start. Uh, death numbers and the new cases numbers they have to be controlled first. So we are taking a gradual step towards some activity. So, sir, I just want to get a sense from you. Uh, while there have been some recommendations suggesting a few industries uh, to be allowed to see gradual reopening uh, with a 20-25% capacity, do you expect uh, some uh, leeway for the cement industry anytime soon? Maybe come April 20th, some industries would include cement that could be al allowed to gradually restart. And when you do restart, what capacity levels do you expect to restart at? And what demand damage do you see then? Uh, government has allowed us, already allowed us, to restart cement industry. Cement industry is technically capable of restarting. The real problem is market. We can start, but we cannot store the production, and it is a very bulk item. People are producing millions of tons a month. So that much volume cannot be controlled or stopped. Volumes have to move out every hour. So till market is there, startup doesn't mean much. First, in this industry, in this particular case, the market has to have demand. So right now we are not seeing any demand. What is the extent of damage will be known? 
only after a week or so once the construction activity starts somewhere very positive statement was there with by gadkari ji that road construction will be starting so these are positive steps naturally it will take some time so such a big disruption cannot be wished away in a minute but we are moving in the right direction gradually uh, construction activity will start and then the demand will come and depending on the demand industry will be able to produce as much as it is needed all right so production is not a problem the demand is a problem and as and when the demand comes in production can be scaled up right. so mr yes mr mangur let me just uh, you know uh, ask you with regards to um, fy21 uh, baseline case knowing what april has brought about knowing what you know half month of march has brought about uh, do you feel that demand in india can likely contract by 10 to 15% as a baseline scenario in fy21 or it could be a lower or it could be sharper uh, i expect uh, somewhere between 15 to 20% demand construction compared to fy20 but that is the estimation today if things improve faster or slower this estimate can change right now i will be thinking somewhere between 15 to 20% mm, yeah i was about to ask you that mr bangur that this is probably a, a good guess but no way of knowing is this will probably no, be no, the... naturally naturally every day yeah. we have to recalibrate ourselves yeah yeah and we look to do that alongside with you mr bangur to give the right perspective to people just wondering sir uh, good morning of course Uh, as you look at uh, your your history as a premier cement manufacturer what do instances like do uh, these do to the industry as of now i reckon top 5 players have a significant market share compared to what it was a few years ago does this enhance the power of the top 5 or top 6 or top 7 to increase market share once the dust settles it is not the time of competing each other right now we have to compete with the disease see that the industry no, succeeds and once the industry is powerful and successful that is the time to compete right no, now no. there is no competition no no i agree i'm not talking about a hostile piece no, no, i'm just no, saying no, that the power when you use the word power it seems competition and that the one defeating another something like this will not happen everybody will be able to sell in their market as the market has really shrunk for the first few months when we say 20% 15% demand drop for the whole year mm-hmm. we gradually see 70 to 80% demand drop for month of april may may be better so when such demand drop is there 75% demand drop in april what we are talking yeah sure no no of course i was just wondering if the balance sheets of some of the smaller ones might no, be no, stretched balance sheet of uh, uh, depends on the debt level because expenses are same whether small or big those who are having higher debt the interest cost is one which cannot be wished away all other okay. costs we can cut down hmm. so everybody will be trying to cut the cost but interest cost is depending on the macro policy of the government okay sure i just have one follow up sir and this is a belief that is there in the markets that north and central indian markets structurally a better place simply because uh, consolidation had already happened utilization is probably was probably at 85% uh, at least until the last available statistics would you agree that regionally there could be differences and north and central might be better placed the demand in the first few months will be so low that even if there is a normal shortage there will be high surplus even in that area so any comparison between one region to another this is not the time in normal times we can talk about this right now everywhere it will be surplus mm. okay uh, mr bangur are you facing any challenges from uh, non repayment or from dealers for unsold inventory no dealers are uh, trying to pay of course some challenges are there everybody is uh, cash is striped but more or less there is not a much a problem that we can complain of okay so no one's asked you for a pushback to no, uh, or a delay and they don't ask the subscribers they don't pay we have to understand that they are a 
10 year old dealer okay. right now some temporary problem is there hmm but okay. more or less not, not big problem okay so no material impact from uh, non payment from, from dealers so what happens to realizations then um obviously they they uh, the anticipation is that uh, that too will come off the uh, realization so. will be known only after it starts up of obviously okay. our cost increase will be very high mm-hmm. as the production is very low all fixed cost will be divided only on a very small number so mm-hmm. cost of production will go up substantially how much we can recover from the market at this point of time nobody knows okay that all depends upon the demand right uh, right and mr bangra one final question then uh, you said that you are trying to bring all costs under control uh, expect mm-hmm. except for interest costs uh, could you also talk a little bit more about whether or not you will be facing any working capital challenges and on the back of costs uh, are you expecting a silver lining in the form of reduced logistical costs uh, you know you've got crude oil prices coming off uh you know transporters could look to offer more concessions on freight rates right, so right, will that right help now the all our curve? guesswork uh, once we yeah. really go to the field we will feel it and then can comment meaningfully right now it is my guesswork against somebody else's guesswork and both are equally intelligent anything can happen and right now it is only a pure guesswork what will happen in the real market okay sir as such so, a Okay, so one final question from my end. Then, uh, is there anything within the dynamics which can be said with a little bit of more certainty, looking at your experience over the past cycles compared to this one? No, with, right now, whatever experience we had, we never had such a experience of this type. Where not only cement industry, whole economy is challenged. So, how the government will take view? ah uh, because everybody is cash strapped so what will be the inflation what will be the what they are to see that people uh, survive some payment to everyone direct benefit transfer all narega how the government will distribute money that has to be seen and uh, we live with a macro environment nothing can be done especially for cement industry government has to think much bigger and they have much more data they will take a rational decision that much i am sure of you you hoping for some specific uh, uh, no i am not hoping for any special uh, thing for cement for the whole industry government may think of okay so, thank all mr bangur we wish you all the best uh, hopefully all of us tied over these times in a better thank fashion you. thank you so much stay safe and viewers uh, well that's uh, well argued even the largest cement players and devin i don't know but maybe the conversation threw up a couple of things that as much as we would like to slice and dice the past data and try and guesstimate what would happen if the one of the largest players in a nifty 50 company is saying that almost everything is a black box right now um, it's probably just futile to try and guess what would happen over the course of the next 6 months yeah but 20 to 25% fy21 demand contraction that's uh, a big takeaway aniraj because the industry is definitely really under pressure so that is uh, and the rest of the factors obviously uh, and the positive being that they are up and about once the demand kicks in but the question is when will that demand come in yep uh, but viewers thanks for tuning in to this broadcast the union to secure your futures here